minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlanta is traveling at 3,200 miles an hour. The propulsion officer in mission control reports that the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlanta's kicking on the afterburners. Copy, engine down. Atlanta's flying at the singular power of the three of the fuel main engines, treating about a half a ton of fuel per second from a large fuel tank. Coming up on the three minute mark into the flight, Atlanta's 46 miles in altitude, 81 miles downrange, traveling almost 4,000 miles an hour. Atlanta's speeding straight as an hour toward its gate with the International Space Station Wednesday morning. Three and a half minutes into the flight, all of Atlanta's assistance is functioning by the book. 55 miles in altitude, 120 miles in altitude. Atlantis now too far downrange, too high an altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. All three engines perform. Atlantis, press to ATO. Copy, press to ATO. That call up from Capcom Chris Ferguson indicating that Atlantis can now make minimal orbital altitude targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to perform normally as to be auxiliary power units for three power purpose for fuel cells. Five and a half minutes into the flight. Atlantis now 67 miles in altitude, 312 miles downrange, traveling almost 8,000 miles an hour. swiveling, enabling, enabling the shuttle to uh, move to a heads-up position above its fuel tank, gaining more favorable communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it heads uphill. Atlantis, press to Miko, single engine Zaragoza 104. Press to Miko, single engine Zaragoza 104. That call from Capcom Chris Ferguson uh, to Commander Charlie Hobaugh indicating that Atlantis can make one now six minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 66 miles in altitude, almost 500 miles downrange from the heavenly space center, traveling almost 11,000 miles an hour. 90 seconds left in powered flight. Single engine press 104. Coming up on the seven and a half minute mark into the flight, the main engines will once again be thrown down under the stress of the shuttle. Six crew members of that are three times the effect. 
of gravity, and that is approaching the speed of 1.4 miles a second. The time for main engine cutoff and the for down of that is 1.3 miles a second. The speed of 5 miles a second. ride uphill for Commander Charlie Hobaugh and his crew. 700 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 15,000 miles an hour. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff confirmed by the booster officer. Standing by for external tank separation. And the bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. Commander Charlie Hobaugh will now maneuver Atlantis so that cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well can perform photography of the discarded external fuel tank. And Mike Foreman and Leland Melvin are about to use digital still and video cameras to capture handheld imagery of the tank for downlink a few hours from now. A flawless climb to orbit for the shuttle Atlantis and its six crew members en route now to the International Space Station.